railroaders build model railways, so people who work in sawmills build model sawmills, only it's not a very common thing. Phil Quelch started building model sawmills back in 1939. He was down on the coast working in sawmills, and this is one of his sawmills. It's 17 feet long, it has thousands of nuts, bolts, and screws, and he made every one, or he stole from his wife's kitchen to make it work. Bruce Dorishuk is a saw filer at Tolko Mill in Armstrong, and he's president of the BC Saw Filers Association. This mini mill uh, has, uh, shows the inventiveness of Phil Quelch. He has a Mixmaster uh, motor, variable speed Mixmaster motor on here. He's got a can opener motor, he's got uh, sewing machine motors. John Hebert is the head saw filer at Gorman Brothers. The different components on the, on the sawmill are all to scale, a one inch to one foot scale. This is a nine inch wheel on this machine, and in the real, the real world it would be a nine foot wheel. But when it was at BCIT, we used it for uh, training purposes, educational reasons, like showing our tradesmen how to line up some of the pieces of equipment. The mill is on display at the West Bank Museum. It required a precise setup to make sure that all the operations lined up. And it works. The log haul brings the logs to the carriage, the carriage to the head saw, which will slab the log into a square dimensional piece called a cant and then the cant's going to be slabbed into large dimensional pieces called flitches, and then they'll go to the edger to be cut into narrower boards. There's 10 saws inside the edger. Yeah. When I push this control in, it starts the feed system. I have to open the end feed press roll. And it comes out as finished lumber. So he's got a couple of 2 by 4s and a 2 by 12 yep. out of that. Yeah, we did, yeah. The saw still needs the occasional human finger to help the boards along the way. It's very, very, very finicky. Uh, in fact, uh, this saw wouldn't cut for us the other day. I had to take it in and uh, sharpen it by hand. Because the teeth are so small, I had to use needle nose pliers to uh, put the set in the saw. And it cuts great now, so. Quelch would have approved. He was a saw filer. Next to the millwright, the most important job in the plant. This isn't the only saw that Phil Quelch built. He built three of them. Uh, the first one, we're not sure of its existence. The, this is the second one he built. And the third one is in uh, Victoria at uh, Miniature World. On display, but they don't run it. It's just uh, a static display. The first live public demonstration of the only operating miniature jack ladder type sawmill in British Columbia will be Canada Day at the West Bank Museum. From noon to 1230 and from 2 to 230, July 1st, West Bank Museum. Get there early for a front row seat. Roberts on the Road is powered by the Sentez Auto Group.